Welcome back. And now we are turning to Swift's hugely popular hackathon and a chance to meet this year's winners. More than 150 participants spread across 20 teams from across the industry and around the world have been battling it out. This year's event focused on digital assets, exploring interoperability and ownership. And I'm delighted to say we're joined by Swift's hackathon lead, Nick Kerrigan, head of innovation at Swift, and representatives from our two winning teams, Abhay Navali, global head of digital assets technology at BNY Mellon, and Yosef Itkin, CEO of Exact Pro, and his cat, <laughs> which we will move on to very shortly, I'm sure. Yeah, but the cat doesn't speak, so just, I just thought I'd clarify that. But Nick, it's great to see you after a year. <laughs> but look, you have been the driving force behind the hackathon in 2022. Tell us more about this year's competition, because I understand that it was record breaking, the numbers of people wanting to get involved. Absolutely. And with Swift Inner Tribe, we really have the privilege of being able to create new traditions. And over the last few years, uh, the Swift Hackathon has become a, an established firm favourite in the Cybos um, programme. But we always want to do something uh, a bit new with it. And, and this year, we really had a challenge that was really quite stretching um, because it's an area where nobody yet in the industry has a perfect answer. And so we wanted to really focus on, on digital assets because at Swift, we believe collaborative innovation is really fundamental to solving industry uh, challenges. And digital assets is one of the key disruptive trends that we've been looking at this year. So we, we had two challenges, one about interoperability and one about the traceability of, of ownership. And we had a tremendous response from the financial community in terms of actually wanting to, to join uh, the hackathon. 150 participants, 20 submissions and uh, I have to say um, you know the quality this year was was really you know truly uh, truly excellent and gave the judges a lot to think about we had so many uh, so it was you know, really hard, hard finding a winner basically uh, absolutely <laughs> absolutely it, it was tremendously hard to, to shortlist and then decide uh, the winner uh, and the and the runner-up um, but you know I'm delighted we we got to this this point well, let's hear from our winners, uh, shall we? Congratulations to you both. First and foremost, let's uh, let's go to Joseph. Let's explain. <laughs> let's explain the cat yeah. and uh, and how it feels uh, to win. Well, I can explain in simple words, what how happy I am. It is our second uh, hackathon. Last year we came second after J.P. Morgan in uh, creating synthetic test data challenge, and this year our joint team from. Belisi and Colombo representing different departments, DLT, machine learning, capital markets and research, were able to put together a winning solution. It is, uh, it is just great. I'm so happy. And Abhe, uh, you haven't got a pet with you, but you look <laughs> as happy Back as home. a man would with one. Uh, how do you feel about, about winning? Uh, pretty great. I mean, and thanks to the team and all the support we had uh, from within the bank, it was it was an amazing experience. We had a global team, like ten members across five countries, so it was fun. Just just getting everybody together, working on it, and I mean, digital asset space is largely uh, known from a fintech startup space, so it was refreshing for like a 238 year old bank to come into this space and demonstrate that we can innovate. We have all the trust and. Uh, you know, have fun while doing that. Yeah, and it's good that you had the fun, but it's worth contextualizing this as well, because to get to this position of being the winner, this has been a journey over several months. I mean, take us through it. What happened? Getting the team together, coordinating them, there must have been points of frustration as well. Yes, yes, <laughs> there were times, and I'll talk about that. But to start with, you know, interoperability is a very broad topic. So we made sure that we set up a, a global diverse team you know, I talked about the 10 members across five countries, uh, to make sure there's diversity of thought and experience going into the solution. Uh, we started with a with lot of energy, a lot of ideas floating around, and then we, we identified the solution like this is the best solution to get. But then you mentioned about months, and there was a period in between where we kind of got back to our busy day life. And it wasn't until the last two weeks we were like, we have an idea, we, we stand a good chance on it, let's like hack it through in the last mile. So we had to spend a couple of weekends. We had a global team, so we had a team in Israel. So we worked on Sunday, really got everybody together on a virtual call and just, just started hacking over the weekend. And then when we saw the final solution in front of us, like coming together with all the pieces of the puzzle, 
everybody was amazed like we were able to pull this together so uh, a lot of a lot of good learnings as well mm. in the journey. Yeah, do, you, uh, do you echo those sentiments? Tell me about the experience for you. Yes, it was uh, challenging. So the company undergoes a very substantial transformation uh, this year. We have one third of our team as a refugees now out of 600 people. So it is uh, difficult for everyone but we were able to gather people from different departments, from uh, different locations in order to participate in the challenge. It was really stressful. So uh, guys uh, and girls after uh, uh, finalizing their teamwork, we were not able to speak to each other for five days, but now they're back <laughs> to being friends. Yes, yeah. so I think. It, it was really fun uh, and we uh, very much enjoyed it. Sure, I mean, fun but very hard work because Abe, look, I want you to tell us about your solution because you know, your solution addresses the interoperability challenge in the digital asset space. We had a sense of that when you told us how people were doing their day jobs but also doing this in their free yeah. time over the weekends and probably working in the early hours of the morning when everybody else was asleep, but you succeeded. Yes, absolutely, and I mean, for the solution, we set out a principle at the very onset, right? We were like, for this solution to be successful, we have to have the right balance, especially in the digital asset world, the pace of innovation that happens, but make sure there's also scale of that innovation. I mean, we are a large institution, global institution, so we wanted to make sure our solution addresses that. And the way we went about it was we connected the dots across various fields of research and implementation, like what are others doing, we kind of understood that as a foundation and then built various components on top of it. So for example, we started with atomic swap contracts, then we leveraged multi-party computation to kind of add very strong security to support multi-asset, multi-owner exchange. And then we thought about like, what is it in the current world that really works well for financial institutions to talk to each other? And, and the response from the team was Swift. We use Swift right now. So then how do we use Swift as the glue for interoperability across this various blockchain. And that's how kind of we build it upon the solution with all of these ideas coming together. The thing is, you make it sound so frighteningly easy, but of course it isn't. <laughs> a lot of, lot, of, lot of white papers to read and see what have others have done and then kind of stitch it together. Well, speaking of things that are easier said than done, uh, Yosef, your solution helps track ownership of, of digital assets. Uh, talk us through it and, and, and what, that, what the implications are of that. Sure. So Exact Pro is a software testing business. Uh, we provide information service to exchanges and clearing houses. Uh, about half of top 20 global exchange groups are our clients. And uh, we are very good at finding things that are broken in production most of the time nothing is missed on most of the days. <laughs> in testing, we have failures, uh, breaks, and missed data on a daily basis. So we need to build special platforms in order to uh, integrate our test tools like Teach2 uh, with all different ledgers, all different legacy platforms, various types of middleware to extract the data from the systems. And also our solution is based on assumption that any data extraction procedure, any data pool will break eventually. So we need to have a reserve capacity of pushing data into our analytical service. So this, I think, the two main components of our solution. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on Cybers TV. Sadly, time is against us, as it is at the Rye in general today. Only yeah. a few hours remain. Nick, thank you so much for bringing these gents out to see us. That is Swift's hackathon lead, Nick Kerrigan, head of innovation at Swift, and uh, representatives of our two winning teams, Abhe Navali, global head of digital assets technology at BNY Mellon, and Yosef Itkin, CEO of Exact Pro and his cat. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.